my rooms. They shove out big bucks and see yours. Well, then they're going to be very disappointed. If you walk out on me now, you'll never work naked in this town again. <sighs> what are you going to do, boss? Send the audience home? Send the audience home? What never sends the audience home? Because the show must go on? Because we have to give back the money. <laughs> You're new to the theater, aren't you? What are you going to do? Take this and read it out to the audience. Me? Me? I'm not an actor. Just get out there. Due to a completely unwarranted and unprofessional conduct on the part of the actress who has performed the role of Helen. Unprofessional? I am not unprofessional. You can call me a lot of things. And many people But I'm not unprofessional because I wouldn't take my Will you keep it down? <sighs> on the part of the actress who is to play the role of Helen, as it was written, as she specifically agreed to play I the part. I never agreed to go out there naked. Nude, not naked. And yes, you did. I have it in writing. As she specifically agreed to play the part when she was begging to play the role. Beg? Beg? I have never begged for a role in my life. And I remember correctly, you were the one down on your knees. <laughs> that was in a completely different context. Now, will you keep it down? We are sorry to announce that Barbara Andrews will not be appearing as previously mentioned. In her place... In my place? Hey, is this correct? In my place! You are going to send out a nobody in my place! Not exactly. Just... Nobody will be performing the role of Helen. I'm not sending out nobody in your place. I'm not sending out a nobody in your place. I'm sending out nobody. Nobody is playing my part. That's right. And she'll probably be ten times better at it. Don't you think the audience is going to notice that something is a little off? That's the glory of theater. The total suspension of disbelief. Can't believe this myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never thought this moment would actually come. <laughs> just, just you and me, here, <laughs> alone. Me? Nervous. <laughs> no, of, of course not. This? Uh, hundreds of times. How about you? I, I, I didn't mean it the way it came out. I guess I am a little nervous. Oh God, you're so beautiful. Look at that. The audience doesn't even miss you. Make love to you? You're asking if I want to make love to you? Since the very first time I saw you across that crowded room, peeling a banana with your teeth. <laughs> My God, you've got the most incredible body of any woman I've ever known. This is working out better than I expected. The audience is imagining me in ways you could have never lived up to. That's not what you said at the marriage. You never have had the impact the audience is experiencing right now. I would have not the mother collected out. I can't believe what I'm seeing. The alabaster skin. That's your skin you would have been talking about. That face of an angel. That's your face the audience would have been looking at. That long, luxurious hair. That swan-like neck. I don't remember that line. I, I had the writer put that in after. Well, you know, he's dead. Oh. 
those inviting, seductive shoulders. That line too. That line too. I never realized. And those. Right those now, everyone in the audience <laughs> would be, should those staring at your eyes. <laughs> those two. Where are you going, my darling? Oh, I'll wait, of course, to the end of time. Too bad the audience is hearing all this said about her, and not you. Everyone's seeing her, and not you. The men out there lusting after her, and not you. The woman hates.